So there's another problem that occurred, which was interesting. So up and down is this one, and left and right is the top one. So what happened was just by going up and down, um, the left and right would move automatically, but only at the bottom. So it would be like there, 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 there. And when it gets to here, it would move like there. So it was fine on top. The left, right was center there. In the middle was center. And at the bottom, it went like this automatically. And uh, also it would be, if I would go up there, down, it would go like this, and then at the bottom, let's say like that. So, um, or what more on this side, so like this, and then at the bottom would go like that. So it's like the middle point itself moved when it got to the bottom to there. And I figured it might be the same as last time, same problem, but then it ended up being something different. So I replaced these wires just in case to test if this was the same problem like last time. It still didn't change anything. And then after that I was basically clueless as to what was the problem. I checked the magnet, cleaned the magnet just to see if it might be something on the magnet. Still nothing. But still it didn't make sense that any of this should actually do anything because it was with the up and down and not the left and right. So then I started thinking if this, wondering if this sensor could actually interfere with this one somehow. That also didn't make sense. But then I started messing around with it anyways just to see what might happen. And um, then I thought uh, maybe I'll just see if it somehow does make a difference. This sound somehow if affects that one. But before I started doing anything I realized or heard that when I moved this stick at the bottom when it went up was fine when it went down to here it made like a squeaky sound like plastic and plastic um, flexing plastic you know that kind of um, sound that uh, gimbals sometimes have and I started wondering where that might come from and then in the end I realize that if you unscrew these screws with one or two turns the sound went away and then I checked and then the problem with this sensor also went away so it seems like if you have this problem or something similar where um, it has like a definite pattern where it goes to the left or to the right one of these or anything on your on your remote that's not supposed to happen but like consistent problem not like before when this wire was off where it would jump around and stuff but like I said with this one it seemed like the center point was moving went up down and at the bottom was moving to the right and was doing the same thing every time like a consistent problem so if you have something similar to that it might be that these screws are too tight as well and let's say maybe these holes are like misaligned with a few nanometers or something then it maybe pulls this whole thing skew like it uh, makes the plastic push against plastic somewhere somehow by pulling it to the side or something so I unscrewed these with one or two turns and the problem was solved and then I added Qtex on here just so that they don't um, unscrew on their own because now they're not like exactly firmly tight so just so they don't lose or get undone more I've added um, Qtex there and even though this thing moves a little bit um, after the Qtex was fine and even when it was loose a little bit it didn't affect the center point of the up and the down so it's not too serious also.